I don't think I can truly explain the value of our art centres because it is our beating heart. So the APY Art Centre Collective has over 500 artists working on the APY lands today. Um, seven art centres like this art centre here at Jala Arts. The art centres are Aboriginal owned and governed. My name's Sky O'Mara, I'm the General Manager at the APY Art Centre Collective. This is an incredible community and an incredible art centre where about 60 Ananu artists work. There isn't a prestigious um, visual arts award that is handed out in Australia today without Ananu artists making up a significant portion of the finalists or indeed the prize winners. We're in a remote community, a good 1,500 kilometres from Adelaide, 900 kilometres from Alice Springs. On the APY lands, the art centres are the only source of non-government funds. And if you think about it, that's huge. Ten years ago, Jala Arts was earning around $400,000 annually. Last year, Jala Arts earned almost $2 million. This increase in income is reflected across all of the communities on the APY lands. So this year we've seen artists travelling to New York, to Miami, to, to Asia for festivals. We've had artists attending their exhibitions in Switzerland. The international opportunities seem to be growing. We've been working with Westpac Foundation for a bit over a year now. I think without Westpac, we wouldn't be in the position that we're in today. We've felt really confident because we've had Westpac support at every stage through this scale-up period. It's a really exciting time and elders have worked very hard to grow their businesses. <laughs> So the elders were interested in establishing a bush to boardroom model. The galleries in Sydney and now in Adelaide are run by an Indigenous board. Now there's two very distinct industry models. There's the Aboriginal owned and governed model and then the second model is a dealer based model. Now this model is usually run by non-Indigenous individuals. The name of the game is to make money for that company. So you're not seeing the commitment to that return to community or that return to Indigenous artists and their families. Everything here, everything in this gallery, goes back to those communities. Under the previous model, young and emerging artists of the APY communities would see a return of 36%. Under the new model that the elders have devised, these same artists are seeing a return of 60% of the retail price of their artworks. Our art centres allow us to be on land and on the land we're keeping our culture strong. In this space, in our art centres, we know how to be strong leaders and that's what that younger generation are constantly seeing, that we are powerful, that 